So, so this is the question. Uh, let me just uh, kind of doodle, draw some diagrams, make sure that I'm um, understanding this correctly. So it's uh, describing a makeup mirror. So I guess we are talking about a curved mirror. Uh, it's talking about some magnification. So I think I'm imagining a kind of largest concave mirror that's magnifying kind of mirror. And we have an object. I, I'm gonna, um, rather than trying to draw a face, I'm just going to represent the object with an arrow as is done typically. And it says a magnification of 1.55. And I guess, so this is where you have to provide some uh, information from your experience. So uh, even though our standard setup with the image producing devices is where this produces kind of a real image, uh, something like this, if I'm doing ray tracing, even though that's the standard setup, I think the fact that the question is telling us it's a makeup mirror. It's giving us a hint of how it's meant to be used. It's not um, designed to be used to produce a real image, even though you could. Usually when you are looking at a mirror, you are looking at something that's a virtual image. So um, you have to kind of understand that and realize as you're reading this question that your fo focus, uh, focal point is somewhere here. And what the makeup mirror is going to do is it's going to produce a virtual image on the, um, on the other side of the mirror. So let me do that here. Um, yeah, so this will still kind of, okay. Um, so that's the, one of the rays and and i'm doing ray tracing just to kind of give me a sense of where things are so these are outgoing diverging rays so where my image is it must be uh, here and i think for most of this question i don't actually need to use any of these so it's uh, more for my sense of completeness that i'm drawing these diagrams okay and, and I'm pretty sure I've thrown some of it, not quite to scale. So, so that's the situation. Let me just label some things here. We are given a person's face is the object distance away. And um, it goes straight to asking what is the image distance, the eye. And this is one of those questions where um, I hate that it's uh, possibly building a bad habit for you. Uh, you can kind of look up the right formula. Here, the right formula would be the magnification formula. That was, uh, I think your textbook doesn't drive it, that I drive in lecture for you. Uh, <laughs> that magnification formula says that linear magnification, comparing this size to this size um, is given by minus of the image distance over the object distance. And this is coming from the definition of magnification, which would be based on the really the height of the object and image. It's the height of the image divided by height of the object. So that's the definition. You have to go through some geometry stuff and uh, you know lens equation stuff to <laughs> drive this. Done in the lecture, watch the lecture. And um, what's uh, useful here is that the uh, question gives you this magnification as 1.55. So um, this is uh, one equation with uh, one unknown. Uh, you know the object distance, you just don't know the image distance, so you just uh, solve for it. When you solve for it, you get image distance is equal to uh, minus 1.55 times the object distance. That's it, uh, to your answer. Um, I, I guess, I, so in this class, I don't normally plug in uh, numbers because um, the questions in this class are complicated enough that if I plug in numbers each time, I will run out of time. But I think this I can do, it's a simple enough. So minus 1.5 times uh, 14, so minus 21.7 centimeter. And here the question in um, question directions are telling you to use the sign, so I will 
uh, I will give the answer in a, as assigned the quantity, minus 21.7 centimeter. Okay, and you know, if it was if the question was instead asking me how far away is the image from the mirror, I might have uh, uh, given the answer here as an absolute value quantity thing. Um, there's a that's why I'm looking at the question instructions to see which way the question wants me to answer. So now it says, what is the focal length of the mirror? And, and this is where I kind of, this is the reason I want you to do this question because I think uh, the kind of the standard setup of the question would be where you are given the object distance, you are given the focal length, and then you are asked to calculate what is your image distance. That's kind of the standard setup. And um, in this question, we are kind of doing it backward. We are starting out with not knowing the focal length of the mirror and uh, somehow knowing the object and the image distance as assigned quantities. And then we are asked for the focal length. And as when you develop a um, good habit of uh, physics problem solving where you work through algebra most of the way and then, you know, work out the answer then. Um, this is, so this is kind of a backward question. And uh, when you are used to working out questions in an algebraic, uh, algebraic way, then kind of doesn't matter if the question is forward or backward because the steps you go through are the same. You start by um, kind of listing the information you have and those are the equations that apply to the situation. So for situations like this, I, I know I can use the Finland's equation or the equation that looks like one over the object distance plus the one over the image distance is equal to one over focal length. Um, we are applying it to a mirror situation. I think sometimes some places they might call this a mirror equation. Um, I usually use it with a thin lens, so I used to calling thin lens equation. It applies to so many situations with the correct sign convention. It just so broadly. So this is my one equation. And before I go solving for the focal length, what I need to do is make sure that I have. Um, with kind of the enough information that is the same number of equations as unknowns. And I really have only one unknown, the focal length, which I don't know. I figured out these two. So one equation, one unknown, I can definitely solve that. So let me solve that. Um, guess uh, I can take this uh, and, oh. <laughs> so we can definitely do this. Uh, I can just imagine taking this entire thing and taking the reciprocal of the entire thing. When you do that on the right hand side, you get that. And on the left hand side, you know, you have this one over the O plus one over the I raised to the power of minus one. And I guess uh, it's kind of algebraically ugly <laughs> to have a more beautiful expression. You might want to uh, combine the fraction and then take the reciprocal properly. But you know, as long as you are plugging in numbers, it kind of doesn't matter. So I think I'm just going to plug in numbers. And um, I'm watching the unit. So all my distances are given in centimeters. So when I added this, it will be inverse centimeter. When I take the reciprocal, that will become centimeter. So I watch the units and make sure the units will work out before I ignore them. Okay, so one over the object distance plus the, uh, I have to be careful here, one divided by and minus a sign, uh, 21.7, oh, minus sign again, okay. One divided by minus 21.7, okay. I'm adding those two and okay, good. I have a positive quantity. That's the thing inside of this parenthesis. And I uh, I guess I can do this, do it this way. I can raise it to a power of minus one equals, okay, 39.45. And as a sanity check, one thing I can check is that this distance is longer than the object distance. That's kind of, what this figure was indicating, so that should be right, 39.45. Or I can round it to 39.5, that should grade it as correct. 
So yeah, let me, since I worked out the numerical values, plug those in and make sure they are right. Minus 21.7, 39.5. And this is kind of a simpler side of um, kind of image image formation questions, um, lens equation uh, question. Um, I guess the only wrinkle is that uh, you have to find the focal length from knowing the object and image distance, and you have to kind of worry about the signs, uh, make sure you don't make the sign error. Uh, if you had made the sign error here, you'll get the focal length that's shorter than the object distance. And uh, if you are in the habit of drawing picture like this, that'll be a hint that there was a mistake somewhere. 